Hi James here, I'm just going to take off where we left off in the last tutorial and as you can see currently we can't see any of our elements. I'm just going to go here and add the camera view down here so that when I go to network view I can see what I'm doing. So. Basically all of these head elements over here I'm going to want to stick into the head composite module. So we can look at where they are. So it's the shorts. So I'm going to worry about the order once I've got them all across. And now you can see I can't see anything. All I'm going to do is drag that down there. You see, I just move that across to put the shorts in, on the top. And now you can see that our ordering is much better. So I'll have a look at this and try and make it look a little bit nicer. Keyframe now. And these eyes here we're going to kind of ignore because this layer is going to disappear by the end. Because we're all with, this, with the eyes layer, when we cut the right eye out, we won't have it at all. Now, if you're when you're rearranging these layers in standard animate, all you have to do is hide those two layers. As you go down here, turn the animate button on, and I'll go to the frame which you want to change it. So let's unlock these. And select your layer, and you press Alt or up and down to move it backwards and forwards. And you'll now see it's created a keyframe on each, so it's now just moved for that frame. And you'll have to do this nudging with the Animate Transform tool to reorder things if you can't just reorder it by dragging it over here because sometimes you can't. But in Animate Pro, you can reorder them using these little no little nodes and moving them left and right, which is a really nice feature. And it also means you're not nudging things in the Z-axis when you don't want to. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a cutter, which is just essentially a mask, so that the pupil doesn't go outside the eye. So to do this, we'll go to our module library, grab a cutter. I know that we're going to need two of those, so I'm just going to drag a second one in. And let's sort of name this. And this one shows we should name these left and right. Let's just change this to left because we're going to need when you set up the other side, you'll also need a right one. And I'm going to invert both of these. Actually, I won't invert it now so that you can see what happens. So we'll start with the pupil and we're going to try to make it so that the pupil, whenever it goes outside of that eye white, just disappears. So here's our pupil. Grab it, throw it into our mask. And I'm going to put the eye back. I'm going to open this the wrong way around. Actually, I've got to pull this one off. As you can see now, I don't have the pupil at all. What I've um, 
and then what I can go up here and do the cutter is inverse it and you can now see the pupil basically what it's doing is I've set this eyelid like the whole eye back area as the mask and so anything inside that mask couldn't be seen by inversing it it means it can only be seen while it's inside the mask so if we now go grab our pupil you'll see that when you move it outside the eye it just disappears which is exactly what we want so you can now move that pupil around and you'll never be able to see it so with your cutter you have your mask going into the left side and your image going into the right side you have to make sure that your image isn't going into the composite module and then you take the cutter into the composite module I'm going to do the exact same process with the eyelid and we probably want that well, we can move that later.